What's up guys, Irish Tell here, welcome to Fallout 4. So, we're going to be doing this playthrough. Uh, it's all set on hard mode, there's everything set up. I'm just going to go straight in for a new game. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the series. If you uh, subscribe, I'm going to be having a mix of content through this game. It's going to be sort of like a standard playthrough, but well, you know, we're going to do um, basically wherever I feel like going. I'm going to add some extra little fun bits here and there. Uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate if you do. Just let me know in the comments if you want more of it, if you want less of it, or whatever else you want to see. Just let me know, and I can head over and do it. And with that, I think I'm just going to let the first few uh, cinematics roll out. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war War never changes. That's such a, a favorite phrase. War never changes. <laughs> You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. <laughs> that was awkward. Alright, let's get this dude sorted. So, this is the creation engine. I'm probably going to skip through this, I think, if it takes too long. <laughs> I'll accept Such that. Cute nose. Bring his jaw in a bit. I'm not so far into this pointy chin. Oh god. Um. You know what, I don't mind the look, to be honest, but I think I'm going to change the beard to... No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I think that'll do. Beard or no beard? Hmm. 
Such pretty eyes. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's look at the hairstyles. You know what? I think I like the original one. Um, change the body type. You can do this. It's quite funky. Be quite muscular. But thin. I think that'll do. Don't want to spend too much time on this. That'll do. I'm not too fussed about messing about with the records. Let's have a look around. So, obviously, a lot of you guys will have seen this from the trailer, so I'm not going to muck about too much in here. I'll go for like after the war kind of stuff and make sure that that's all there. Turn that off. Um. <laughs> ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. Thanks, Kaiserwood. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Hmm. <laughs> More of the same. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. There is my coffee. There it is. That's impressive. I could drink it from here. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Uh, yeah. Hey, hon. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? <laughs> Ooh, it's like a week from Halloween. I wonder if there's anything else interesting about. It's a little early to be drinking. <laughs> now, who left those here? Patriot. Good old USA. And, ooh, someone's a lord. So proud of her. Oh, his wife's a lord. It's probably that salesman. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Figure I'll go for my standard name. Obviously, I probably won't be in the list of names, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, three. Thinking charisma would make quite high, intelligence quite high, agility can be three, and luck can be three, that'll do. Wonderful. 
That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Oh, Sean. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. Let's go sort the baby out. <laughs> Alright. Hello. God, that is a creepy looking baby. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. <laughs> hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? <laughs> Mom? You should come and see this! That makes him sound so seedy. <laughs> Followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We. We need to get to the vault. Now! How convenient. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. All the soldiers. Just help me pack it up! You're not gonna make it. God, I love the way this looks. Like, you never see the game before the post apocalypse. And obviously, this has been in all the trailers, so obviously, most of you guys will have seen this. But I'm hoping you kind of get to come back to this at some point. I mean, a DLC or something. <laughs> if you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. God, we're gonna die. I, I am. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Right, okay, how does he know that's me? That could be any Thank infant, you. adult male, and female. Luck, you two, me. God, Come on! What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Let's go. The slowest jog in the world. Step on the platform in the center. I feel sorry for these dudes. They're like dead as well. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Do you think if I put my thumb up and cover it? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Hold on! Right, the radiation poisoning. Surely you'd still get radiation poisoning. Unless, you know, that doesn't work that way. I don't really know. I've never really had an atomic bomb go off. All those people are dead! <laughs> hey. What? We did it. What? What's going on? We made it. We're okay. <laughs> Excuse Everyone me. Everyone, please I'm step off milk. the elevator and oh, proceed God, up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, we'd no. We'd all be... Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. 
Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure, like, most of those people are dead. <laughs> Just this way. Step over to the table. And take a seat. You'll need your hey suits there. before we can there. take you further. You're safe. Welcome. Uh, Pick up thanks. Suit right over there. Good. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you. Uh, you didn't pick up the suit. See? I want your pit boy. Give me a pit boy. This is our new home. Oh, you can't punch watch. him. <laughs> This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything Sir? we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh God, honey. What if they didn't? Hmm. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get checking everyone off the list as they come to be fashionable as well. So I'm kind of aware of what the social experiment of the vault is, if you guys understand how the vault system works, and how, like, obviously some of them are controlled, some of them are actual proper vaults, and some of them are, like, special Just things. And put your vault suit on. So this is decontamination pot. This seems a bit sketchy, to be honest. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Yeah, I've got that horrible feeling this is not we're gonna be any further. <laughs> Resident secure. Occupant vitals. Normal. Procedure complete. In. Five. Ah, okay. Yeah, cryogenics. Clearly, this is what this is. <laughs> I suppose people are in a rush, they're not really gonna be thinking about what they're stepping into. But actually, they'd notice other people in the pods as they're like walking along. <sighs> so I wonder who. Obviously, I leave as the sole survivor, but I wonder how. It's like surely the cryogenics, if they fail on one, would fail on everyone. Don't give him the baby. Not the baby. Jesus Christ. Boom. It's like no blood though. For a game that's normally so gory. Is that me? That's weird for an idea. No one else vacated. Come on, come on, come on! Oh God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot back. I promise. Can I not open the other ones? Why would Vault do this? It's like, are all these people dead? Life support. Offline. Okay, so why am I the only one alive? Click myself. Remote override engaged. So someone actually let 
me out. A pod door manual override engaged. Mr. Russell, operation deceased, cause of death, asphyxiation due to life support failure. Right, so if all of their life supports failed, why didn't mine and my wife's characters? Seems highly suspect. Kind of hoard shit. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative for service. It's quite a lot of them, then. So, like, as the soul survive, that's kind of a sad moment, really. Like, everyone from your town is dead. <laughs> Premature termination and system failure. Isolate manual remote. Oh, text. Somebody turned off the life support. So everyone dies for essentially murder. That's not good. Um, so full disclosure, guys, as I'm playing this, I have actually played through uh, a little bit of this. I basically just got to the point where I, I built Sanctuary, like your little home. But uh, that's it. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm going to read this. What goes on? Security instructions. Uh, you guys can read this if you want to read it. I'm just going to kind of flick through quickly. If you want to read it, guys, just pause it on the bits you want to read. I already know what it says pretty much about all the different play people, what their jobs are, where they go. And, like, it basically, it's like when they can leave and shit. It's typical Vault Tech shit. Um Biogenic array. Must vacate. So yeah, like I say, I've played a little bit of this game. Uh, up to um building like your first outpost area. I might show that in gameplay, might not. I might record it and then just not post it unless you guys ask for it. Kill the rad roach and get another security button. Giant roaches. What the hell? Okay, and... Ooh, top ten. What are these? <laughs> Overseer memo. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> oh, it's fucking... Uh, miss. And there's, that first, that's, there's one of those achievements. It's actually one of the first achievements you can get. Um, but, like, like, certain things I did and certain things I didn't do, so... Well, that fucked me over. I can't be honest. But there you go. There's one of the holotapes. <laughs> and I just took Red Menace. So that's an achievement, easy achievement for you guys right at the start. Um, and here. It's pretty much all been stripped bare. I suppose if there's if there are like people inside the vault, it's gonna have been stripped bare, really. Oh, Rad Roach. <laughs> I think that Rad Roach is meant to have been fried, but I'm not 100%, so I'm just gonna go around. Oh, as it jumped! There it is. Look at that. It's been fried. Uh, can I? What happened here? Where is everyone? Gonna totally just take that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Fucking rad roach. Uh, right, let's keep going. Stim packs. Ten mil pistol. Ammo for my 10mm pistol. Another 10mm pistol. Ooh. Nice. Coming back later for you. Like a later. Another bobby pin. Uh. Is this all that's left? I 
going to reuse some extra little bits here and there again. Uh, pretty sure I've raided through all of this. Is the overseer's luck about what's going on? Basically, the uh, upshot of all of this is basically that uh, they prepared it all. The day the bombs dropped, everyone he says rushed in, didn't notice the fact that they were cry late. They were cryogenic uh, pods instead of actual proper pods. Um, said one of the uh, people died because the life support wasn't working properly. After the 180 day mandatory period to wait for an all clear signal, doesn't get one. People start to worry, uh, and then it, the, a faction le is built up by the security who basically decide that they don't like being in the vault, they want to leave. He decides he doesn't like that because he thinks there's radiation. And uh, a big like mutiny ensues and I assume he just starves everyone with the, with the lack of food as they've only got enough food for 180 days. So, there you go. There's the, uh, the abridged version of the events that happened within the vault. Gotta find the terminal. So, you know, save if you haven't to actually read all of it. But again, if you want to read it, you can. I see you there, Rat Roach. Bam! 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 Missed. Missed. Fuck you, Rad Roach! <laughs> New ability to bash. Bam. Got nine nine shots. I love the exploding Rad Roach. I knew it was there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's actually nothing else in here really that I could see, so we're gonna get our pit boy! <laughs> it looks like it's built for comfort, not for speed. Oh, look at the pit boy. 64k of RAM. <laughs> Alrighty, and there's my gear, my HP, taking two bits of damage. Not bad, let's get out of here. I love the fact he just knows how to do that, like, personally, like, how, how do you know that? Not Find little things that sort of make me a bit, like, apprehensive with these sorts of games. If you wanted to play this as like a solo RPG sort of style thing, like playing it role play, not that I would personally, because that's not my thing, but if you did, in theory, as a character, you're not allowed to pick up caps, <coughs> sorry, until you know what they actually do, and they're everywhere, <coughs> so like, why would your character know that like, oh yeah, I need to pick up caps because it's currency, because how would he know? You've not, you're not like, using them before the war. So why would you assume that you need to use them? Like once once the bombs have dropped. It's like little things like that, I think this game like it works but it misses out little things here and there like explanations of what caps are, what people use them for and I can't run through there. Uh we're gonna finish next to the vault. Yeah, like I say, it's little things here and there that they, I think they might have just missed off that don't make sense. I don't know if that's just me, or if that's like everyone, but... Uh, let's see, cryogenically frozen. As all the vaults are secret social experiments, except for the control ones, which is quite good for scientists, really. Like, considering the idea that, like, you have to have control experiments. So I'm pretty sure Fallout 3, that was a control vault. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So like, they had nothing wrong with their society, in theory. <sighs> and here's the world after the war.
rather wrecked, to be honest. Hello, Radix. Stim pack, blood pack. Okay, I need to take some. Like I said, as I've played it a bit beforehand, I kind of know some of the skills that are good to get to begin with for what sort of things are really finite at the start of the game. Bottle cap! Switchblade. So I kind of know like what items I need and when. So let's just have a wander. Tell you what, the thing I don't like about this guy is like just as a notice is the, the fact that you don't put your weapon on a holster, you just make it just disappears. It's kind of a disappointment, really. I thought you'd like, have it holstered or like on your hip. Of like rad roach meat. And it's like, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, they've made the block picking hypersensitive on the bobby pins. They really flick around. Ooh, I'm going to put that red bandana on. Oh yeah, red bandana. Take a nuka cola, nuka cherry. Let's say nuka cola. Um, I think that's everything in it. I could rob the neighbours. <laughs> Might come back and do some more robbing later on. I'm just gonna go, go back home. See who's alive. It's Cotsworth. Talk to me. Cotsworth. As I live and breathe. Not that you do. It's... it's really you! Codsworth! What... happened to the world? The... world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, <laughs> I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, they Just look at his eyes when he speaks. It's like soulless. I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Okay, these I, didn't, I haven't done these, so I don't know what the um, little extra information thing is at the top. Godsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I, I, oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed. Nothing gets out nuclear fallout from violence. <laughs> Nothing. And don't get me started 
about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Kato. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yes. Yes, you shall. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Good man. Let's go. <laughs> I do love Cods, but he seems like such a fun. I hope I could. I'm wondering if we could fix him up later on, like make him shine again. I can only kill those quickly. Ah, ah. Don't push me out of the way. Anything in here? So yeah guys, like I said, I'm playing this on hard mode, uh, not very, I don't know, I think it's very hard is another option, and then there's like survival which requires you to eat and drink, which I just wasn't in the mood to be doing. But uh, with the increased difficulty apparently that means that um, enemies are a bit more intuitive and there's more chance of legendary enemy spawning, which are like enemies with like better loot and that are obviously harder to kill. Come out and face us, scallywag. You just said come out and you just run in. All good, hard work. Sir, your your family isn't here either. They're really gone, aren't they? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are... Mm, as put together as I am. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Okay. Think anything else useful here? Not that I can tell. I'm probably going to come back and scrap all this later on and build my little fort. Uh, but for now, we're going to head down to Concord. This is not much really useful down here anyway. I'm also a bit annoyed that the uh, melee attack actually requires your AP points. Let's go. Ooh, who's that? That's a dead dude. Shotgun shells, 308, stim pack, double barrel shotgun, and a drifter outfit. How much does that do? Five and seven. That's got radiation though, but this just makes my look more interesting. I think I'll go for this for now. <laughs> look like a bit like a wanderer. Like a bandit. Let's keep going. Oh, the dog. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. 
Let's stick together. Thing in there, if you so. Oh, don't found something. What did you find? What? What is it? What? What did you f show me? What is it? Oh, stim back. Nice. All the more the merrier. Turn the radio off. I'm not dealing with copyright from old songs. If there is any. Um, anything else in here? It's a computer. Oh, cap stash. But yeah, like how does he know that caps are important? He's not asked anyone. The only person to not ask is Codsworth. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't care about monetary cogs. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. What? <gasps> what was that? It's dead now. Whoa! Midair shot. Nice work. I don't think that have anything useful on them, will they? More rat teeth, more rat hide, more rat teeth. Nothing particularly useful. Let's keep going into Concord. Down we go! Hoot hoot! I don't know if that hit me or not. It's fucking exploded. Coffee pot. Okay. Let's check this house, dog meat. Hmm. Anything about? More caps. And. Ooh, what's in here? Stimpak, Psycho. Oh, I've leveled up, haven't I, as well? Which is actually a good reason to show you guys some of the skills. Um, I'm assuming I have skills anyway. How did I not unlock anything at level 2? I did. Awesome. Right, so I'm actually going to do Scrounger. I want more ammo. So I can find more ammo in like containers and things because you'll find that ammo is something that you run out of quite a lot in this game quite early on and as you do in most Fallout games if you ever play them so the idea is that I'm going to try and stock up on the skills that will hope helpfully build me up so I'm going to try this cap skill I think as well and then you know we'll slowly get there I do love the, like the colour of this though, it's like blue. Like a proper oh, I can hear shooting. Oh What's going on? It just molotoved himself. He had an eighty percent chance and you missed. That's all I'm saying. Cover. Anything worth taking off you? Mm. Oh yes, dog meat. Wrecking. Gonna take the shotgun. Take the shotgun shells. I'm gonna crouch down. I'm gonna blow her head off. That's a headshot. I think. Oh, it's another one. I'm probably gonna start doing a headshot counter. I think as I go along in this series. Oh, ooh, pipe pistol. Don't particularly want a sack suit. Uh, 308. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Okay. 
Ooh. <gasps> oh, what's he wearing? Fusion cells and an athletic outfit. I don't want an athletic outfit. I'm quite happy with my own outfit. Just gonna have a peruse. But yeah, now I'm also gonna do uh, another perk. I'm actually gonna do the lockpick skill. No, no, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Not too worried about caps this early on. As they're not gonna be so. Can I wear that? Can I wear that? <coughs> I am the bandit builder. All I need now is some sunglasses, and I'll be like, yep. <laughs> Badass. Fuse, light bulb. Cabinet, nothing in there. Anything up here? Anything at all. Some mannequins, some boxes, some files. I'm on the roof now, though. Oh, look, Crash Verbird. Mm, oh, hang on. Medex and Psycho. I don't really want Psycho. I'm not going to start doing drugs. <laughs> drugs are not good for you, no matter how much people try and convince you. Okay, down we go, down we go, down we go. No, I didn't want to do uh, weapons. Let's favorite you. Gonna favorite you over the security button and double barrel shotgun. I'm gonna put you there because everybody loves a double barrel shotgun. Apparently that didn't save. Shit. <laughs> so now I have a security button instead. Yeah, I've noticed there's a little bit of lead time in some of these loading areas. That seems a bit broken, I'm just... I'm gonna probably have a headshot counter, I think, just for my own like little levels of amusement. No more British Okay, What's wrong with the British? We're we're a nice bunch. Fuck you, mannequins. Fuck you, British. <laughs> you. Because apparently you Americans hate the fact that we colonized. Headshot! <laughs> Blew that head clean off. It's down there. Other than the fact that you're missing a head. Hmm. I don't have any layered armor yet. Let's unlock this. I'm gonna hate, like, difficult locks. Ooh. What's this? Fusion core. Taking. Stolen. Uh, jet. Duct tape. Combi wrench. <laughs> Take them all. Oh, there's a dead body there. Yes. Pipe pistol. I've got pipe pistol. I'm going to take them. i am still got my hard hat on there. <laughs> still look like a builder. Just coming to check all the stuff's alright. What's that? So that's switch blade. Tick. Items that I can sort of sell on later on. All, all useful amenities. Um, do I want a sack hood? They look a bit creepy. Uh, filing cabinet? Nope. Anything over here? Cap stash. <laughs> Hairbrush. Nuka Cola. But it's empty. Uh, empty. Three, three, eight rounds. Getting ammo for these pipe pistols, I think, is what I'm getting. 
three eight one good pencils. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking all the junk. Wooden block I and D. Right away, buff it. Useful. Uh, I think that's everything useful here. Bone. Oh, fifty caliber. I haven't got anything to use for that, but I'll take it. Get a fifty cal sniper. Let's keep going. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. It's not me, it's the fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you? Boom! Headshot! Oh, here he comes, here he comes, hang on. You didn't get your head blown off. You're a lucky man. You're a lucky, lucky man. Your friend on the other hand is missing a face. Like, quite severely missing a face. Uh, anything else in it? <laughs> Properly missing. Oh, hang on. 308. Short pipe bolt action. 38 Molotov cocktails. Nice. Thanks, guys. Shotgun shells. 5.56. Not anything for that either. Getting a lot of useful. And, what? Well, not useful. Useless. Shit. Shot. Oh shit, there's another one. <laughs> Boom! Hit oh, there it is, look at that. I took one hit from a dude with a tire iron. Stim pack? A lot of stim packs. I'll take the road leathers, they might be useful later on. I'm not just looting all the crap because I don't want to fill my inventory with shit. Uh, buff out. Take that. <laughs> lots of drugs in this game. Lots of drugs. Um, ah, three eight rounds. Nice. All right, loading up on ammo. There's a bag. Another bolt action rifle and a Molotov. Mollies. Do 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 do. Actually, no, I'm gonna have my gun out. Gonna... Hello. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe. Minutemen? So now nope. I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but nah, things fell apart. It. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home, a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Maybe. Ghouls are... irradiated nope. people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just God people. Damn it. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Uh, They'll rip you apart just as soon as uh, look at you. Anyway... We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? 
Oh, West Tech internalized, sir. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I think the chat is, like, severely broken. Like, it wasn't, like, adding the words in from the chat properly. Take a subway. Oh, hello. Perception. Hell yeah. Perception has been increased by one. Nice. Let's go do this, motherfucker. <laughs> Um sort of looting as we go. <laughs> that song's in my head now. Right for the common one. Yeah, the loading takes a little bit of a while with this, I've noticed, but otherwise it seems alright. Oh, there's my full suit of cherry power armor. In we go. Yeah, the arms and legs are fucked, so it's not cherry. Up here. But we got somebody up here. <laughs> oh, that dude's fucked. I think we're gonna leave it there, guys. That's the first kill. We're coming up in an hour. We'll come back and we will absolutely wreck the rest of the raiders. But you know what? That's for another video. So hopefully you've enjoyed the first hour of the game so far. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna help the Minutemen out. Get all the rest of this done. Kill whoever's down there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like and subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing all sorts of Fallout content for the next, uh, well, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> At least for the foreseeable near future. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.